hello and welcome to the third and final vlog in this series on my channel and here I am at Grand Pier in Western Supermare it's a bit of an extra attraction this to come to but there are a few um, different uh, rides inside uh, of course you've got a ghost train a mini gyro swing and lots more to see so I'm looking forward to getting in here and experiencing some family attractions just come off of Sidewinder the little uh, mini gyro swing here um, you do get the slightest bit of air time and it's quite a fast spin as well uh, and it just spin both ways and it is quite a long cycle um, which does make it and you do swing out over the arcade which is down underneath so you get a nice view over there uh, and when you do swing out over it just feel a lot higher than it actually is um, but it's, it's a nice family ride really uh, it's quite a small gyro swing but yeah, it does, it does have a fast spin and quite a long cycle and the slightest little bit of air time you do get on there as well. I've just come out of the Crystal Maze, which is the Mirror Maze here. It's actually a really disorientating one. I did, did spend a good few minutes trying to get out of there and get him some dead ends and stuff. Because um, it doesn't really fill up the biggest space. But when you're actually in there, you really do um, kind of get lost in there. Um, and you can see the exit as well at some points. And you just sort of don't know where to go. Um, so yeah, it's a really good one. I did spend quite a long time in there. It's an extra, it's an extra little attraction to come and do here as well.
So I've just come out of the House of Horrors Ghost Train. Um, but, but I've got to say, it's one of my favourite dark rides now. It's, I think, I, what I love about it is because it's so tightly packed in. In fact, the actual ride vehicle, you're sitting in a cage. Um, the, the sort of scene where you go through and there's like a staircase and you can hear the wooden boards rattling above you. There's like a bit in the graveyard where like something pops out of a grave and you've got a bit where the ghost flies past you. And a lot of the jump scares are actually done with air cannons, which is really, really, really great because obviously it's just it's it's just a sound. It's not like um, an actual visual thing. I mean, there are like a few like um, lighting effects. You go in a room and there's um, a light um, that... Um, that comes on and it's all like lit up sort of like a UV like purple and you go through and there's like a table that moves around and just like picture frames that go across the the uh, top of the fireplace just little things like that that really makes it um, you've got knights as well there's like a knight that like shakes around a little bit so the table uh, that rattles around a bit as well just a lot of it's quite small things that move and then the actual like um, animatronics are just lit up which is really good um, and it's quite minimal movement it's just really really good um, really good oh you got the mirror at the end the classic as well there's even a pepper's ghost effect in there with one of them like the ghosts in there you get to see uh, done as like a pepper's ghost which I really really like it's a good effect that it's, um, it's quite claustrophobic with a cage idea in there really really fantastic uh, I think because it's so subtle with it being tightly packed it just makes it one of the best ghost trains Change your speed as well, so it's. <laughs> Going to the graveyard. <laughs> Some interesting noises. <laughs>
we've just come out of the House of Mirrors, which is the Hall of Mirrors here. Um, there's some good, like, funny mirrors in there. Obviously, you've got as well um, the little windows you can look out of. You've also got the little flaps at the bottom as well you can look out of. Um, there's a little balcony at the top where there's like the seat with the, it looks like it goes all the way around because there's mirrors on each side. And there's also a couple of infinite tunnels, there's the, like the light tunnel. Um, and also the, uh, the, the ladder that looks like it goes infinitely down um, as well. Uh, so there's a good few things to see in there. Uh, and it's uh, worth checking out a little extra attraction when coming here. out of the crazy circus good fun little fun house that because it's right next to the hall of mirrors uh, you've got you've got the little rope bridge up there and you can look down you've got the little rollers there there's also quite a funny roller here well obviously you have to go down the little slide there you've got the funny staircase going up you've got the little strings you have to walk through there's various different moving floors and little stepping stones that go down and little um, floors that sort of move underneath you. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's really fun. Uh, there's even a little little tunnel as well, a little circus tent sort of tunnel um, that you can walk through. Uh, there is actually circus music as well, which adds to I suppose it adds to the immersion almost with the, the soundtrack inside. Um, there's also those spinning platforms, which are uh, I've actually got pretty good spin on there. Um, really, really good. So yeah, it's a good fun fun house. It's not just a permanent fun house because there's not many of them around nowadays. So yeah, that's Crazy Circus, which is the fun house here on Grand Pier.
So I've just come off of the F1 simulator. It's quite a different ride experience, this. Obviously, it's an immersive sort of um, racing simulator. Um, so it's like a racing game, um, but you've got the hydraulic system underneath, so it moves around a bit and obviously banks on the turns and leans back when you, you accelerate. Uh, I did get a good lap. I got three minutes, nine seconds was my best lap. Uh, because the first lap I did crash a couple of times the second lap I went uh, a bit slower but then uh, on the corners but then I did get a lot better of a lap um, for my second time uh, you do get quite a long cycle because I did get um, sort of two laps on there uh, you do get a certain amount of time but it's enough time to fit in two laps um, uh, and, and yeah, it's quite fun. It, it, it is quite immersive because obviously you've got the three screens so you're completely surrounded. Uh, you've got the pedals and the steering wheel in the middle and then uh, you've got the hydraulic system which moves you around and and, uh, and and makes it a lot more immersive. So yeah, it's a good, it's a good racing simulator, this one. Uh, it's quite a unique attraction. It's the first one of these I've done um, to come out down and do at the pier uh, and see if you can get a good, a good, uh, a good race on there as well good timing um, for for the race Ride here, which is the Dodgems, uh, the electric Dodgems, uh, is and they are pretty fun. You do get a long cycle on there. Uh, I mean, I do love Dodgems, they're always like it's a really fun rides to just come on, and it's a good final ride to do as well. Uh, but yeah, this thing you get a really good long cycle um, on there. I've got a pretty good ride on this one, uh, it's a good to get on here. Um, as my final ride.
and that wraps up this vlog from Grand Pier here in Western Supermare. Uh, there's a really good variety of rides. I managed to get on um, everything here. Um, obviously the ghost train's fantastic, really scary because it's quite subtle uh, with all the jump scares, it's all just sounds. Um, the Sidewinder, the little dry rest swing, that's a good fun, you get a little bit of air time, some good spinning on there. Uh, got the F1 simulator, that was a really good uh, new experience to do on there. Um, and something else, I did get a couple of rides on the ghost train, I went on there um, twice, uh, which is really good. Because um, none of the rides really ever get a queue. In fact, the only ride I did have to queue for was the F1 simulator. Uh, it's quite popular, that one. I mean, it's really immersive and obviously with the movement and the surrounded screens on there, uh, you get to drive the F1 car around. I did get a pretty good score with the race on there, so not too bad for that one. Uh, the Dodgems I did last, uh, they were good fun. Obviously, getting a few bumps on there, uh, always really good. Um, the slide, the Helter Skelter, I did do that just before the dodge so that was good. Um, a good slide. And also the view from the top is really good because it's built into one of the towers um, on the back end of the pier, so you get to see all across Western, which is really, really nice. Um, and that, yeah, that, that wraps up um, this vlog. So I think there's a really good variety of different attractions to experience here. Yeah, and of course you've got the uh, the walkthrough attractions, the crystal maze, which is the mirror maze, really, really disorientated. I actually got lost in that one. Uh, you've got the hall of mirrors, you've got mirrors and some infinite tunnels and that sort of thing where you can little flaps where you can look outside, little windows. You've got the other one, which is the fun house. That was good fun. Um, where obviously, you got the little tunnel at the end, the little barrel that rolls around and you've got a few different moving floors, uh, like little rocking platforms and stuff you can step on. Uh, so that was also really fun. So yeah, that, that wraps up this vlog. Uh, good to get on some rides and also a few walkthrough attractions. Uh, I think my favourite ride is the Ghost Train just because it's, it's a new ride for me and it is actually um, really... Uh, one of the scariest ones that I've done because it's really subtle with some of those those sound effects that create the jump scares on there. And you can buy on-ride photos from the House of Hobbs Ghost Train, so I did buy one of those um, as a bit of merch for this visit.